the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 255, Ezekiel 38 to 39. Seven years worth of logs used as spoils. God showed Israel, who lived in a foreign country, a prophecy of the picture of Gog being destroyed. First point. Among the visions God showed at Kiel, one was Gog's soldiers attacking Israel. We are not entirely sure where Magog was or who exactly Gog was. But in the vision, God showed to Ezekiel, Gog appears with his soldiers to attack Jerusalem. In the vision, Gog tried to attack Israel, which had become one nation. They were to invade a land of unwalled village and attack peaceful and unsuspecting people. This was a warning that Israel would have to return to a place with no words or safety precautions. But they did not have to worry as God was to protect them from all harm and danger. Despite how God told Israel to rely on him through numerous prophets, Israel had failed to do so, which meant that God used Assyria, Babylon, Egypt, and other empires to teach them. God hoped for the day of their restoration and so told Ezekiel to persuade the people. Second point. God brought down all sorts of plagues and declared that he would fight against Gogol's soldiers. The reason Gogol's soldiers attacked Israel was because of their greed. Gogol furthermore desired to take from Sheba, Dedan, and Tashish. However, Gogol's attack on South Judah was a part of God's plan in order to reveal God's holiness to the whole world. Israel was slowly building up hope. Towards the day, they would be able to restore the temple. God therefore made his plans for them. God's plan involved the people returning to Jerusalem and living peacefully amidst their restored temple. God planned for the rising power of Gog to strike Israel and then for God to save them and perish Gog. This was ultimately in order to reveal his glory to the world. This plan also revealed God's great love for Israel. God was to judge Gog in the days to come. God declared that he would bring down all sorts of plagues in order to fight against Gog for Israel. God would bring an earthquake which will make all the fish in the sea. Bodies in the sky and animals on land shiver with fear. All the mountains and walls would fall down. The men would stab their own brothers with swords. Diseases will spread and hail would fall down. As such, God would reveal his greatness through such measures. Third point. After God's judgment on Gog, God declared that Israel would be able to earn their firewood for seven years. God went on to proclaim judgment on Gog. God's plan was indeed astonishing. To the people of South Judah who were living as captives in Babylon, God made plans beyond their imaginations. Through the vision God showed to Ezekiel of Gog falling, God ultimately revealed how he was planning their restoration. God planned for the spoils from Gog to be so substantial that Israel would not have to work for seven years. All of the spoils that Gog accumulated over the years would become Israel's. Fourth point, by judging the Gog soldiers, God would receive his honor. God showed at Kiel the vision of Gog perishing in detail and hoped for the restoration of Israel through it. Gog's forces were to completely go down. Through the judgment of Gog, God was to show the people of Israel that he was their God.
Moreover, the people were to realize why North Israel fell in the hands of Assyria and why South Judah fell in the hands of Babylon and why the people had to be taken as captives. Fifth point, Israel would be restored as a holy citizen in the kingdom of priests. God spoke of Israel's restoration. Their restoration would begin with the return of the captives from Babylon after 70 years. They would be restored as Abraham's descendants and the holy citizens of a kingdom of priests. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.